So guys, in this video, we'll see how to remove a node with the given value j in the linked list. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So this is the class node we are using and it has integer i as the data. It has a variable next of type node that stores the link to the next node. And this is the linked list we are using. The head is pointing to this location, which is the head of the linked list. We have 12, 54, 6, 9, 18. Next of the last location is pointing to null. And my point of saying that remove a value with j is wherever you find the first match of j. Suppose if I want to remove j is equal to 6, so I should be able to remove this node from the linked list. So I'll let the method first and then I'll demonstrate how this works. So our method would be like static node because we'll be returning the updated head after removing the node if this is found. Remove, I'll say node head and int j, right? And how do we call this method from the main? We'll say, suppose this is our public static void main and this is the node head. You created the linked list with head pointing here by some operations and you want to remove say maybe value 6. You say head remove, you pass the head okay, of this linked list and you say you want to remove 6 so value of j here is 6. right? So this is how you remove. And this case we will not handle the cases where this value is found multiple times. That means to say if I had multiple 6 here, that is this was 6 and this was 6, I would just remove this 6 and return from the method. That's it. Right? So this would be another interesting problem where you have to remove all instances of J. So right now we just remove the first instance where we find the match of J. Right? Where we find the first value J, we remove that node. So we handle this into two cases. We say if head dot i is the value that you have to remove, we simply say head is equals to head dot next. Else return head. So in either of the if and else cases, I have to return the updated head. And why have I taken a separate case for the head? Because if head's value is the first match that I'm looking for, I just have to remove this node. And removing the first node from a linked list is very easy. All you do is set the head to the next of this head and you return the updated head. That's it. So we are able to separate the case where J was found at the head and we were able to delete the first node in the linked list. So this is equivalent to removing the first node in the linked list. and I have already added a video to that. So in the else part, I'll say I have node current pointing to head dot next. And I have a node previous pointing to head. I'm taking previous because it will be pointing to the node right behind current. I'll say while current is not equal to null, right? If current i is equal to the j value that you have to remove, right? So right now I'm at the node that is to be deleted. So I say previous dot next is equals to current dot next and you break the loop. Otherwise you say previous is current that is previous tracks current and current moves to the next node. Okay, so your while loop ends here, your else part ends here and before you close the method, you return the head. Okay. So now let's see how this works. So suppose our j was 6, right? And we had to remove the value 6. The first instance where 6 is found, I remove that node and I stop and I return the updated head. So this is a head in the main. Okay. This is passed into this method. So in this method remove, you have a head that points to head in the main because this head was passed in this method. You check the first condition if head dot i is equal to j. j is 6, head is pointing here, head dot i is 12, this is false, you come in the else part. You say node current is equal to head dot next. And I have told you before, whenever you are using equal to with objects of classes on other side, the reference of the right hand side gets copied to the left hand side, saying wherever this right hand side is pointing to, left hand side is going to point to that location. So you take a variable current that points to head dot next. Head is pointing here. Head dot next is pointing here. So current points here. You say previous is head. So previous is pointing to head. You say current is not equal to null. Current is pointing here. This is a memory location, not null. True. You come inside the while loop. You say if current dot i is equal to j. Current dot i is 54. j is 6. 54 is not equal to 6. You skip the if body. 
you come here you say previous is current previous is pointing here current is pointing here previous points to current now so previous points here you say current is current dot next so current dot next is here so current points here you go back to check for the while condition current is not equal to null current is pointing here not null true you come inside you check for the if condition if current dot i is j current dot i is 6 j is 6 and we hit the equality we come inside the if we say previous dot next is current dot next so previous dot next points to current dot next current dot next is here previous is here the next of previous points to next of current so next of previous points to currents next okay and then you break that is you come out of this while loop you come here you come out of the else condition you come here then you return the head so head in the remove is pointing here so head in the main keeps pointing here because this head goes back into the main and when you return from this method you lose all the local variables so you lose head current and previous so wherever head was pointing to current was pointing to previous was pointing to so now when you return back your head in the main is pointing here head dot next is this next of this is not this and next of this is this so next of this is this so you skip this right and there is no variable that directly points to this location that is to say you cannot say some variable dot i that will give you six and some variable dot next that will give you this location so since there is no direct variable referencing this location this is collected by the garbage collector so this is to say that you are able to remove the node with the value six and this is, I have kept in red because this is the new link that was formed. So this is how you delete a node with the value j in the linked list. Let's see the case where we have to remove the value, say 12. So you come into this method, remove, you get a head in this method that points to the head in the main, right? Because this head is passed in this method. You say if head dot i is equals to j, so heads i is 12 and j is 12, this is a match. You say head is equals to head dot next. So head now points to where head dot next is. So head points to head dot next. So head points here, right? And this if ends here, you come out here, you say return head. So this head goes back into the main. So wherever this is pointing to, the head in the main will point to that location. So head in the main now points to this location. And since you come out of this method, you lose references to local variables. And since there is no variable that can directly assess this location, that is to say, you cannot do dot i in and you get 12 for this location. So this is collected by the garbage collector. And this is how you remove the first node. And there is obviously a check that you need to add is that if head is null, you return null because if you pass an empty list, say this is null, right? So you do head dot i, head is null, you get a null pointer exception. So you need to add if head is null, you return null. So this is how you remove the first instance of this value j in the linked list. And in the coming videos, I'll add a video where I'll say I have to remove all the instances of j. So whichever nodes matches this value of j, I have to remove all those nodes and we'll see how that works. So let's just move on to the code and test this out. Let us run the code that we just wrote. So this is the class node we are using. This is the method to print the list. This is the method that inserts a new value at the front of the list. This is the method that we wrote and discussed that removes one instance of this value from the list. In the main, we have these values that we insert in the list. The head is initially null, that is the list is initially empty. We add all these values to the list, we then print the list. And then we call remove with the head and the value 6 and then we print the list again. So let us run this. So this is the initial linked list. Then the list after removing one instance of the value 6 is this because the value 6 is removed now. I'll call this again, I'll pass the value to be removed to be 12 this time. So you see 12 is removed now. I'll call this again, I'll remove 9 this time. Let me run this again. So you see 9 is removed. Again removing 54 and removing 54 and one last value left 18 and removing 18. Right? So we removed values one by one and if you call remove again with the head currently with an empty list this will not give you an exception because we are handling the case where head is null. So I hope this video was helpful. So please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos and thank you for watching.